Welcome to Wattage Wednesday. Today we're going to test and see how much power these two dehumidifiers use. So these are electric dehumidifiers. They don't have a compressor on, so they use a lot less power. This one is one I've been using in my bathroom for a few years now. I run it every day. Fan's starting to sound a little bit loud on it. The label says it uses 40 watts. This one is one I bought for the trailer. I haven't used it too much yet. Uh, it's got fancier displays, more settings. And it says it uses 80 watts. What we're going to do today is run both of these at the same time. I only have one kilowatt meter. So we're going to run them for four hours total. I'll run this one for two hours first on the kilowatt meter. Then we'll unplug the kilowatt meter, reset it, and we'll run the other one on for two hours with the kilowatt meter. But they both will get four hours of runtime. And we'll see if we pull any moisture out to try to compare them. It's in the middle of winter right now. We're in the trailer. We might not pull much moisture out, but we'll see. The display here right now says the humidity level in here is 32 percent but on my clock here it says we're at 60 so one of these two is not right don't know which one but we'll see if we can pull any moisture out i do pull moisture out all the time in the in my bathroom in the house with this but that's also from us taking showers uh, this morning after I got out of the shower is 80% in the bathroom. So this works pretty good for taking some of the moisture out of the bathroom. But I want to have one for in the trailer. And I want to see how much power I use. So this one says it draws twice as much power as this. It would be nice if it took out twice as much moisture. Let's get so, started. So I have this one plugged in to the kilowatt meter. We'll hit reset. It's reset. We'll turn power on. We'll turn that one on also. It's in Celsius, so it's not really easy to convert to Fahrenheit. But 35% is what it says the humidity level is right now, 12 degrees Celsius. I know 21, 22 is around 70 degrees. So my trailer says it's 60 inside. I know these work better when it's warmer in a trailer, so I have the trailer running so I can keep the temperature up. So it should start to get warmer in here also. There's a setting on this one though. I can set the level if I want it to be 60% humidity, if I want it to be 40. Anything less than 40, which signifies by this by here, it just says it's dry. It's gonna run continuous. Doesn't matter what the, the humidity level is in here. So that's what I have it set at right now. It doesn't care what the humidity level is, so it's just going to run. So let's see how many watts this is using right now. So we're at 113 volts. And it says we're using 88 watts right now, which is a little bit more than what the label says. So we'll come back in two hours and we'll see how much power it used. So we're using 83 watts. A total of three cents if I was running it in the house. It's been two hours and two minutes. And we used 0.17 kilowatt hours. So if we're going to run this for 24 hours, we we'll multiply that times 12 because we've been running it for two hours. And that would tell you how much you use for a whole day. So let's switch this up and put it on the other one. So it's been two hours. So I'm gonna switch these around now, but I did separate these two so that they're not so close together. They're not competing with each other. The humidity here was 60% two hours ago. It's now 42. And here it says 22%. I believe it was 30 when we started. So still some discrepancy. It is 64 degrees in the trailer. We were about 50 when we started. My other thermometer says 72, but it's up at the ceiling. The 10 degree difference between the, the ceiling and the down here at counter level. But it's been two hours. I'm gonna unplug them both, swap them around. We're gonna reset the kilowatt meter. So it reset and we'll turn them both back on again.
The one I use in my bathroom already has a little bit of water in it. It's not much. This one doesn't have any water in it yet. So I'll show the results of both of those when the test is done. We ran this one in the trailer before. I've never run a side by side. I ran it in the trailer and I haven't got any moisture to be taken out of the air. Based on the reading on here, it says I do, but I really don't get any water in here. I have gotten water in it, but not what I thought I should running it for, I think the last time I ran it, I ran it a couple days. So maybe after this experiment, I'll run these in, in my bathroom where I know I collect a lot of water. And I'll actually see if this one is even worth keeping. It, I'm assuming it uses twice the power, but we'll find out after this test. So right now I'm using 37 watts on the 40 watt unit. And that's half of what the other one is. So let's come back in two hours and we'll see how much power we used. So this one's still using 37 watts. Would cost one cent if I was running it in the house for the two hours that I ran it. We used a total of 0 0.07 kilowatt hours or 70 watt hours. So we ran for four hours so far, two hours for each unit on the kilowatt. This unit used 170 watt hours and this one used 70 watt hours. So let's see how much water we pulled out. Let me turn them off. There's a little bit of water there. I would say that's uh, maybe two tablespoons, two, maybe three. Let's see, get this in this corner. Not very much water in there. It looks like it might be one tablespoon. So this one used less power and it pulled more water out of the air. Just an FYI, we're at 38%. This said it was like 17, I think it was 17, 18%. So it varies. I saw it around 22 also, just before I started filming. So the two still have a discrepancy. The trailer has a humidity reading on the meter. And it says 32%, which is probably closer to this one, 38. So this one used 70 watt hours for two hours. So it's 35 for each hour, which is what we were drawing was 37. So rounding off with the math and stuff, we we're actually using the 37 watt. So that'd be 37 watt hours. So if we multiply that times 24, that's what we would use per hour. For this one, we were using just over 80. So it was 83 and I think 88 when we started. So that would be 83 watts per hour, which comes close to the 170 I measured. So we would run this for 24 hours. We would multiply the 83 times 24 hours. Then we'll get the total that we use for this. This one has settings on it. If I don't want it to run the entire time, or only when I have a high humidity, I could set the setting in here. 40 is the lowest setting you could set it to. So as long as the humidity in the trailer is above the 40, this would run. If it was below it, it would not run, so it would save energy. But yet it said it was only 22 in here, so it would take a lot of humidity before this would even turn on. So it's just something you got to experiment with. Uh, the first one you buy might not be the right one. So you can return it, buy another one, swap them around. This one works really good in my bathroom, but it probably would actually work better in a trailer. This one I could probably put in my bathroom. I might swap them around myself. So if you like videos like this, subscribe up here and watch more videos down here. Have a good day.